After Arctic launched their P12 Max, you could see numerous comments asking for an Arctic Liquid Freezer Max. Of course people did, those things are freaking monsters. And although Arctic did not say that they plan to do something like that, though I would bet a very specific part of my body that at some point this will come out, but what they did do is mention that these things are amazing on top of their liquid freezer. But they did not say that they are just good. They gave out a really bold statement. What they said in this image is that when using an Arctic Liquid Freezer 240 and slapping two of these P12 Maxes on there, you would get an Arctic Liquid Freezer 360 level of performance, which is a really bold statement. Now, I do have some issues with this image. Sure, they do say that they achieved these numbers using a 13700K, but was it unlocked or was it locked to, let's say, 65 watts? How many fans were actually used, two or four? Was it a push-pull thing or not? And I have a ton of other questions. At the end of the day, we just don't know, but we will know, because let me present to you because let me present to you the Arctic Liquid Freezer 240 Max, the AIO which will definitely be released at some point sooner or later. I just don't want to wait. In order to test if Arctic's claims were true, I decided to go for the exact same 13700K myself. And I locked it down to exactly 200 watts going through the package, which is a lot considering the standard settings. From there we took a bunch of other fans to have reference values. For example, we have the regular P12s creating the Liquid Freezer 240, we have the P12 ARGBs for the ARGB version, and we have a set of Noxia NF-A12X25s because I just wanted to see what happens. And of course, a Arctic Liquid Freezer 360 with three P12s, because that, that's kind of the point that we wanted to get to. When pushing those 200 watts through the socket, we got roughly what we would expect. All three Liquid Freezer 240 variations did land plus minus on the same spot, while the 360 was a bit ahead. 65.8 degrees C above ambient for the stock version, with the ARGB being slightly behind and the Nokia slightly in front. At this point, already one thing. I did not get that amount of difference between the 240 and the 360 version as Arctic did. On my 200 watt stress test there were 3.6 degrees C above ambient between a stock 360 and stock 240. Whereas Arctic says they had 19.8 which just created a hell of a lot more questions. Were all their fans spinning at max speed? Or are these numbers created on, let's say, 50%? Or was the pump running at 50? I, I just don't know, but 200 watts, 13700K, both fans at and pump at max speed, 3.6, going from a 360 to a 240. But the question of the day is what happened when I slapped the P12 Maxes on there? Arctic was right using their P12 Max pushed this little Liquid Freezer 240 all the way up to the exact, and I mean the exact temperature as the Liquid Freezer 360. Now of course these numbers are different, mine are in no way as much apart as Arctic's, but the claim seems to be 100% accurate. Plus minus margin of error, you can create an Arctic Liquid Freezer 360 level of performance by taking a 240 and slapping steroid fat P12 Maxes on there. What the actual damn. Now I could call it a day here and say great job Arctic, but uh, I won't, because noise still exists. And as we all know, 3300 RPM is nothing to be sitting next to. So we lowered the fan speed slowly down to create a noise to performance curve. However, at this point, a, a huge disclaimer. Unfortunately, I didn't want to measure the noise numbers of the fans on the AIO while everything was running. The reason I didn't want to do that is because my specific Liquid Freezer 240 unit 
is a crappy one. Compared to all other liquid freezers that I ever had, the pump on this specific one creates a very annoying and loud noise, making the AIO settle significantly higher than the noise floor of the room. And thus measuring it on the 240 with any fan would create an advantage for the 360, which is only due to the 240 having a crappy pump. Now I didn't want to do that because that's not the point of today's video. So I decided to take all the decibel numbers measuring only the fans. So I ignored the pump, I ignored everything, just the fans were running. Uh, for both the 360 and the 240. Okay, enough disclaimers, let's go. Oof, oh. On the bright side, the Liquid Freezer 240 Max and regular 360 did end up at plus minus the same temperature. But in order to achieve this, well, that, uh, that that's a lot of noise. Though what was nice to see is that generally the P12 Maxes are quite a lot better than the regular P12 from start to finish. If we concentrate on the first half of the graph, we can see that the maxes are in front of both of the regular P12s and P12 ARGBs. So that's really good, but the A12X25, yeah, they, they are still kind of ahead. And then comes the Liquid Visa 360, which, yeah, it, 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 it destroys everything. Though one thing which was funny to observe is that the maxes don't make that boom that every other fan does, uh, which is basically what happens if you go below 40-30% fan speed, where the fan becomes so slow that the static pressure just dramatically drops and it doesn't move anything through the red anymore, and then the temperature rises very, very quickly. For the P12 Maxis, it doesn't do that, because for 3300 RPM, that would still be between 8 and 900 RPM, which is still like 400 RPM more than any other fan. But yeah, it's uh, a complicated topic. Uh, first off, Arctic was right. The Liquid Freezer 240 tuned with two P12 Maxes does perform like a 360mm AO, but it does so at the cost of noise, even on lower speeds. The 360 will always be a lot quieter at the same temperature. So should you do it? Um, yeah. The fact is, ignoring the 360 and 240 comparison, if you have a 240, you will not lose any noise to performance. No, you will actually gain a tiny bit, making the AIO slightly better than before, but most importantly, you will gain a massive amount of headroom. Now, of course, it's not the most amazing type of headroom, but it's always good to have it. And you don't need to use it. Idling, gaming, whatever ring, you will still experience the same thing, or even slightly less noisy, but of course only with a properly adjusted fan curve. But in the very rare case that you do need balls to the wall performance, well, there is your 360 AO right there. So yeah, very interesting with a twist, but interesting nonetheless. Okay, this should be it for Arctic's Liquid Freezer 240 Max. On a side note, we also have a Discord server, so if you wanna join, the link is down below. And of course, we still have channel membership, so if you're looking for a good way to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to start a change.org petition with the goal of forcing Arctic to release the Liquid Visa Max series. But with a different pump cover, please. The design really could get some change. I, I just, I'm not all for Millennium Falcon team. Anyway, thank you for watching and if you haven't seen the regular P12 Max review in general, make sure to check it out because that fan is just interesting as a whole. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, and uh, yes, of course I will do.